In this quick demo, we will go over the basics of getting started with Zoom. To get started with Zoom, open up a web browser. Navigate to sfsu.zoom.us. Select Sign In. Sign in with your campus credentials, noting that you may have to use two-factor authentication. Once you have signed in, you will see your profile page. To schedule a meeting, navigate to the Meetings tab. Select Schedule a new meeting. Give your meeting a name. Select when your meeting occurs by clicking on the calendar icon. Select your date and then the time. Select how long your meeting will be. Scroll down and select Save. To invite your attendees, select Copy the Invitation. Copy the meeting invitation and paste it into an email to your attendees. If you've never used Zoom before, you'll need to download the Zoom software. To do so, navigate to sfsu.zoom.us slash download. Select the download button. Save the file. And when the download is finished, open it. This will begin the Zoom installation. Once Zoom is installed, sign in. Select Sign In with SSO. Enter SFSU as your company domain and select Continue. It will prompt you to log in with your campus credentials. In my case, since I had already signed into the website, it knows that it's me. You may be prompted to launch an application. If it says Zoom, select Open Link. Once you're signed in, You'll see all of your upcoming meetings in the panel on the right. My meeting demo is here, and I can start it from here. To start my meeting, go ahead and select Start. Once in Zoom, Zoom will prompt me whether I want to join with computer audio or via phone call. If I have a microphone on my computer, I want to select Join with computer audio. If I do not have a microphone on my computer, I can select Phone Call instead. In this case, I have a microphone on my computer, so I'm going to select to Join with Computer Audio. In the bottom left corner, there's a microphone icon. Since I have joined with Computer Audio and I have a microphone on my computer, you'll note that the microphone is moving up and down, indicating that the computer can hear what I'm saying. I can select the microphone icon and a slash will appear through it. This means that it's muted. To unmute myself, select a microphone icon. The green bar will start moving up and down again. If I want to use video, I can go ahead and select the Start Video icon. Starting video will start the webcam on my computer. Let's have another participant join our meeting. You'll note that the Manage Participants icon says that I have two participants. Select this to see a list of all of the participants in the session. In this case, I am the host, and Demo has joined my meeting. The icons next to the name indicate which capabilities the participants have. In the case of Demo, Demo has their microphone muted and their video muted. If Demo were to unmute their microphone, You'll note that the microphone icon will become visible and move up and down. This indicates that Demo is speaking. Here, Demo has unmuted their camera and you can see them in the participants window. As the host, you can choose to mute someone's microphone. If there's too much noise coming from a particular participant, select mute. This will mute their microphone. To share your screen, Select the green button at the bottom that says Share Screen. This will give you a list of all of the things on your computer that you're able to share. In my case, I want to share the whole screen, so I'm going to select Share. 
there is a green border around my entire screen. This means all of the participants in my meeting can see everything that's on my screen that's surrounded by the green border. To stop sharing, select the Stop Share button. To end the meeting, select End Meeting. If you are the host, you will get the option to end meeting for all. To join somebody else's meeting, either click on the link in the email they've provided to you, or select Join in the Zoom software. Type in the meeting ID and select Join.